All right, Dom, what are we doing today, mate? down to the ocean but there's something else very special down here do you know what no there was a shipwreck a shipwreck down here you're going to get to see an anchor a diamond off the shipwreck there might have been bars of gold what do you reckon yes pirates pirates treasure We've come a long way. Let's turn around and have a look back up. Up the top where the car's parked. Thankfully, someone's built these steps. How awesome. Mm. How many steps have we gone down so far? Uh, 2,000. 2,000. 2001, 2002, 2004, 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2010. Wow. It's a lot. Well, I think we've got about another 2,000 to go. We're nearly there though, and guess what? Every step we go down, we've got to come back up. up. Bit of fun, bit of family fun today. Mm -hmm. So another family fun day out. I don't know if we're gonna find blackberries today though somehow. Mm -hmm. Mum and Xavier are way in front of us. What's slowing us down here today? Me. You with your crook knee. What'd you yeah. do to your knee? Oh, you've got a cramp. Well, I've been having this cramp for ages and ages and ages and ages. Oh, it's, it's tough being eight years old, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got to watch out for snakes too, Dom. There could be snakes down here today. And, and guess what? What? I was watching this show yesterday. It's called All Aussie Adventures. And it's and the, the dude's son. Let's go. She thought she saw a snake, but it was just a stick. What was it? All Aussie Adventures. All Aussie Adventures. What's he do? What's his name? Russell Coy. Russell Yeah, what's he do? He goes to where he, well, the outback is his backyard. The outback is his backyard? Yeah. Well, guess what? what? The outback is our backyard. How cool is that? Mm, and he doesn't live in... Look out, snake! Oh, it's a stick. He doesn't live <laughs> so, in... So shut up, Dad. The city. Oh, he doesn't live in the city. Well, we don't live in a city either. We live in a little town, a little country town. Yeah. Look at Mum. Mum's down the bottom going, hurry up, guys. What are you doing? We're enjoying the day. Well, look at this, Dom. Wow. Look at the ocean, mate. Do you want to go swimming? Yeah, it looks like a great no, spot to swim. No, no. <laughs> sharks, sharks. Sharks, no, it's not a good spot to swim, mate. Yeah. You've got high tides, you've got deep drop-offs, and uh, look, you've got a lot of rips and rocks out here too. Mm. It is not an ide uh, ideal spot for uh, swimming at all. And it, she was right next to the cliff, and it was really heavy in winter, and she couldn't go to sleep. No. Wow, that's she crazy. That's she, was, she was just afraid of going off the edge, and it was like... A like, two billion drop. A two billion drop? Yeah. That's a long way. I don't know Alright. Can you get down the rest of your way without my hand? I've been holding his hand all the way down here. And uh, well you can't really uh, get the uh, you know get the idea of just how far we've come because you can't see. Uh, but look at that, look what we've come down to. What do you reckon, Helena? Nice. The boat anchors around the corner, apparently. I said it's a, it's a long walk. That was a... You said, Helena goes, oh, it's only 350 metres. Uh, 375 metres. But as I stated, that's 375 metres directly down the hill, around the cliff, <laughs> directly down the cliff face. And we've still got to get back up. And now we've got to walk about 2Ks around the beachhead uh, to the anchor uh, where, the, uh, where the wreck took place. So where the shipwreck took place back in the 1870s. Pretty cool. Oh, I might take my socks and shoes off. Get me feet in the sand. Uh, what do you reckon, boys? Take your socks and shoes off? No. No? no? I'm gonna. How awesome. What a day. What a day to be alive. What a place to be. Let's get the socks and shoes off and let's enjoy it a bit more. Didn't skip that one. Hey, what?
I can see the anchor from here. Look at that, can you see it? I don't know if we're going to be able to get out to it though because of the high tide. Where is it? Can you oh, see that sticking out? Amazing. Can you see it through the camera? It's in directly in the middle of the screen. Oh yeah. Let's go, yeah, let's go. It was coming into high tide, we weren't ready to. No, we'll be alright. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm just going to walk around, we'll be fine, we won't get cut off. We'll be fine, I promise. We'll be fine, I promise. We won't get cut off. We can walk over to there in about 10 minutes and back again. The tide will not come in that quick. We'll be fine. Oh, now the risk is on me. Can you Oh, sorry. What are you doing? High tide check. High tide check. <laughs> High tide detected. High tide detected? Where? Oh, yeah, I see it. It's coming. Quick, let's beat it. I hope we don't get cut off. Alina just said then, uh, what happens if we walk all the way to the anchor and uh, you know the waves come in? Obviously we get cut off. Well, I just checked the tides just to make sure and uh, high tide's already been, so we're okay. Uh, we are coming to the lowest tide or lowest point uh, of the day, so the shallowest tide of the day, I should say, if that makes sense. It's fairly roaring though, isn't it? Look at that, imagine surfing that wave, Dom. <laughs> oh, loves it. Oh, we'll keep going. We'll get around the corner. We're gonna go set the anchor. What does it mean that when you say we get cut off the waves coming? With the waves coming, we'll see how we've got the cliffs here to the right hand side of us, Tom. Yeah. And we've got the ocean on the left. Yeah. Now what's the ocean doing? It's coming in for us. It's coming in for us. And do you know do you know uh, twice a day the tides come up? So what happens is the ocean levels rise and the tides actually come in. So that means at say seven o'clock in the morning, the water will come to right there or about there. And then by about lunchtime, it'll come to about here. And you wouldn't be able to walk there because it'll all be water. So what, what I'm saying is if we get cut off, uh, the fact that it's not high tide now, we won't. Uh, but if we were to get cut off, the water will come in all the way to the rocks here, and we'll have nowhere to walk. We'll have no escape. But well, we have to stay on the rocks. Well, what happens if the rocks are all underwater? Mm. We'll have to climb the cliffs. Look at that stone, buddy. How cool is that? Oh, wow, look at this one. He's got layers. He's a layered stone. Mm -hmm. We'll put him back. How cool. cool. Look, shell, he's broken. Got another little stone, nice little piece of iron stone there. Tell me if you find a shell with the like the shapes. With shapes on it. Yeah. A seashell with shapes on it. Oh wow. Little waterfall. See this Dom? Come here. I'll show you something. And Zaz? See this? It's a really great indication of how a little river stream flows and how gold would be deposited in the river. If you actually look at this, you've got the yellow sand and the black sand. Now we've got a shadow from Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> we've got the yellow sand and the black sand. Look what's happening, Dom. Black. Yeah, all the black sand. You know what that is? Look. That's all the iron stone. All this stuff. Check it out. All this is iron stone. When the waves and all that crash and break it up, it turns into this black sand. And that's what you're seeing there, the iron stone coming out through the sand. And because it's heavier, it's being deposited off in little quantities in little pockets, whereas the yellow sand's lighter and continuing traveling on. So isn't that amazing? I just love watching that sort of stuff. And that is a great indication of just how a river works, as I said, and how gold would be, uh, be deposited in the river. Look at this little uh, low pressure point where that bit of seaweed is and all the black sand around it and behind it. So, very interesting. Dom's shadow once again. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's find that uh, anchor. Hey Dom, why is there these um, things on this wall here? What are these? There used to be stones here. There used to be stones there? Look, they're all the way up. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. They're wait, everywhere. Wait, wait a minute, that's from dinosaur eggs. They're dinosaur eggs, are they? That's a dinosaur. Look, you've got more down here. Maybe it's about to hatch. It's a sea creature. Yeah, it always sticks to stuff. 
Okay. Well, look, you've got more here. What are they? I don't know, but to, to see that camouflage is on the walls of sea eagle. It's just I can't know how to describe it, but you know how the snake it it rolls around its legs. Yeah, it wraps around. Yeah, wraps around it. That's and what it looks like. But it's miniature. Okay, interesting. Geez, you know a whole lot about this sort of stuff, don't you? Yeah. You're pretty smart. Look, there's more. Dinosaur eggs everywhere. Yes. <laughs> they can't be dinosaur eggs. Look up above you, buddy. Wow. Wow. So, a bit of interesting history on this beach. Helena and Zave are gone too, they're around the corner, they're off for the anchor. A bit of, a bit of interesting history though is um, you had the wreck, the shipwreck around the corner which we're heading for, uh, but basically um, there was a ship here, I think it was the same one that wrecked not long later, uh, but there was a ship that actually abandoned four crew members on this very beach. Uh, so what actually happened is um, the, the ship was out there and the, and the crew members were kicked off and they were kicked off, well, they were kicked off uh, with very little supplies, uh, or none at all, basically, what they had, the clothes that they had on their back. And uh, look, there was some months later, or weeks later, I can't remember exactly in the article what I read, uh, but uh, a little time later, uh, there was a bloke, I think he was a farmer, up on the, uh, up on the tablelands there, and he actually come across uh, two of the bodies. And uh, he described them in the newspaper article, I remember, and uh, the state that he'd found the bodies in. And one of them he described, well, he described them as being of different race, uh, different nationality, uh, due to their dark colouring skin. And uh, he also explained that they'd been dead for a few days by the looks. And uh, one of the men had, well, both of the men were found up on the cliff side. So it looks like they were probably, uh, look, trying to get away from the water, trying to get up on the up on the tablelands, up on the high ground, uh, get off the beach. And um, basically he found them, uh, look, as part of a, part of a little crab claw. So the, uh, the farmer found them basically though, and one of the men had been drugged down uh, the cliff a little way, uh, probably from wild dogs that stated in the newspaper article, and uh, he'd been drugged down the cliff a little way, and uh, part of his jawbone, get that right, they were very um, detailed uh, back then in the newspapers, uh, part of his jawbone was actually displaced, uh, still left up on, up on the cliff. I know it sounds really bad, but that's just what it was explaining. Uh, so the man was drugged down a little bit, probably by wild dogs, uh, what have you, and uh, look, his body was a little bit worse for wear. And the other man uh, was described as being a shorter gentleman, and uh, he was almost naked up on the cliffs there. So the, the, the man that was drugged down, he had a bit of clothing on, uh, but the man above, he was basically naked. And uh, look, they basically uh, described uh, that through the elements uh, was what made the two men perish. And the other two men, uh, they were never accounted for. And they just uh, presumed that with the two men that they did find perished up on the cliff side, uh, they presumed the other two men had the same, well, the same fate, the same ending. So, how cool is that? And you said you didn't want to walk out here. We're nearly there. I can see the anchor. We should run. Yeah, but something. I got one. It looks crazy out there, doesn't it? <laughs> Race you to the anchor. Yeah. Quick, grab that rock out there before the waves get it. Quick, go get it. I bet you can't catch it. No, quick, it's gonna get run over. Come on, we'll go get it. Oh, it's not a rock. It's a shell. It's a very pretty shell. Uh-oh. 
Look at that, Dom. There's your rock. Wow, how pretty is that? Can you hear the ocean? Dom, can you hear the ocean? Yeah. You can? Give me a listen. Can you block on your ears? Yeah, I can hear the ocean too. That trick my parents, um, I think my parents told me when I was a kid. Put a seashell up to your ear, you can hear the ocean. You can certainly hear it when you're at the ocean. <laughs> there you go, you want to hang on to that one? No. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I'm sitting back there and leave him. The tides will take him. We'll see if he's still there on the way back. Probably not. We're nearly at the anchor. We're nearly at the anchor. Sounds like I'm saying yanker. Oh, we've got company too. Look out, if we get cut off, so will he. We'll all be scrambling up the cliffs together. It's not gonna happen. No! <laughs> What a bloody awesome day. Oh, there's another one over there. What's going on, Dom? There's two anchors. We've got to go further now. Got to see both of them. I can see another one sticking out way over there. Can you see that? Probably not, because I'm uh, too busy walking and shaking the camera everywhere. You see it? Good spot in 99. There we go. We've made it. We have made it. So, this anchor's broken. This anchor's broken. <laughs> this anchor is about 160 something years old. 18, I think it was about 1870. So, I have no idea what that is. It's like an axle of some sort and obviously worked up the teeth there. Like, you know, uh, there would have been like a, uh, a mechanism that worked up the teeth. And look at that, part of the old wood from the ship, petrified wood, I think, uh. still on the side. What's the matter? What's the matter? I don't see a problem. Oh, the big wave coming. Of course. How cool is that? I'm in your photo. Isn't that what you want? Whoa. I didn't see that coming in. Helena, look out, run! Zaz, jump on the anchor. Oh, go jump up near it so I can get a picture. Helena. Helena. Have you seen what's coming up in front of us to get to the next anchor? Smiley face. Oh, don't walk in front of me, Dom. Not sure if Felina's going to like that. Look how close this to the cliffs. I told you. We're going to get cut off. Oh, look, there's our escape route. Straight up the cliff. That looks better than the steps we walked down. Helena's leading the bus. She's driving the pack. <laughs> Tom is. Tom's going to lead us into trouble. Helena, we're going to get cut off. Helena, I'm worried. I'm nervous. Dad, 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 Dad. But, yeah. Helena, even the man's not coming. He's not game enough to come out here either. He doesn't want to get cut off. She's on a mission now. Before she was being a nervous Nelly, and now you can't stop her. Oh dear. Put a line in the sand. <laughs> no. Oh, it's a smiley face. Says, put a line in the sand there so we know where the tide comes in. Go, put a line in the sand. No, it didn't come into there. You're giving false, false readings. Chuck's you. Go on, do it properly. Alright, go and put another line. Oh, 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 
Look out, Dom! Look out! Look out! Oh, he's gone! <laughs> Dom, don't taunt the water. <laughs> hey? Don't tease the ocean, Dom. It looks pretty scary knowing the fact that that's coming at you and you've only got this, a pretty impenetrable wall, uh, on the other side. So I can see Helena's fears of being worried about being cut off. I don't mind a swim though. That doesn't faze me. The boys can swim. Helena can swim too. Helena, don't go over the rocks. You're just making yourself harder for you. You'd walk over the world to get to this anchor, wouldn't you? Hey? The mountain's crying. Even the mountain wants to trap us off with this water coming out. We're being enemies trapped on both sides. There better not be another bloody anchor around the other corner. Oh. All right, we've seen the anchor. Here it is. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> we've got to. What does it say? How cool is that? It's 9th of the 10th, 65. It'll be 1965. Once again, Zave Zimmy light. Something was up there. Can't see what it says. 9th, 10th, 65 something else there's another shadow what do we got here s r i n oh it's so hard to read i don't know if you can make that out there at home very cool though just think how that would have been hand forged what 160 year ago uh, lost in a shipwreck and then now here it sits today amazing just amazing how cool. I can't see any more of the ship, can you? Very cool, very cool. All right, let's follow the family back before we get uh, stuck. I'm so just checking out a few rock pools here and we're looking for starfish. Can you jump over to here, Zaz? I'll jump off, off this rock. I'll jump out of your way, mate. Oh, jump over here. So we're looking for starfish with the boys. Oh, we've come away from the anchor. Can you see them? They are everywhere. Starfish, 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 starfish. They're everywhere. It's hard to see where they're not. Don't disturb him. And look, we've even got an orange one over the back there. Can you see that one, Dom? Orange. How cool is that? Whoops, and uh, we've got the tide coming in. <laughs> there we go. We're about to get washed out then. All right, you stay there, don't move, don't move. Stay there, stay there, you're all right. You're all right. It'll recede in a minute, see how the water's going down, and then we'll be able to jump back over. So just stay there for a sec. My shoes are wet now too, so are my socks. So just stay there for a minute, hold on to each other. Just don't fall off the rock, because you'll hurt. Yeah, don't, don't lose your balance. See the water's going back out now? Righto, so you can jump off the rocks now. You're gonna get wet shoes, but, or you can wait for a little bit longer if you want. Dom's off. Save, can you jump all that distance? Wow. All right, let's see how I go. Back onto the slippery rocks. That wave come out of nowhere. Dad, I can just walk through it. There we go. It's handy to have long legs, isn't it? And Dom just walks straight through it. <laughs> hey Dom, you gonna count the steps on the way up this time? Uh, yeah, let me start from the bottom. Yeah. Start from the bottom. Alright, ready? One, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <gasps> ten. You need to help me. How many was that? Sixteen. Seventeen? The top one was the seventeenth. All right, we're gonna go all the way to the top and we'll see you up there and we'll see what number we get to. 
36, 34, 35, 36. Whew, this is hard work. 52 steps and we found a lizard. Can you see that, Zaz? You can't. How about I jump out of your way? He's just watching us. Oh, Dom's hopping in the way. There he is. See? Can I have him? Hello, buddy. Oh, no, nope, there he goes. Righto, where were we? 53, 54, 55, 56, 98, 99. 100. Start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoop, no, I'm slipping off the track. Eight, nine, ten. Nothing. Eight, nine, 90, 91. You counting? 192. 93. 94. 95. 96. 97. 98. 99. 200. You run out of steam, boy. To one, to two, to two, three, to four, to five, two, two six, two oh six. We've made it to the platform. Whew. Take a break. Two hundred and six steps, and I reckon we've got about another two hundred and six to go. One, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine. Blake. He's coming up on the outside. Two sixty-nine. Do you reckon we can power run the rest? I'll beat you to the top. Ready? 270. 301 steps. Dom calls break. <laughs> of course. Oh dear. Don't you run. We're going to beat you on the last stretch. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 30, 30, 7, 8, 9, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, not really. 379 steps. I did run, uh, run quite a bit of that though. 380. One more there. Whoa. It's a warm day. It's quite a hike. We're at the top though now. How good was that?